Back on ESPN Plus, tail the tape for this middleweight bout looks like this. Jack Marshman, the Welshman, is one year older at 30 years old. Sean Strickland out of California, one inch taller. Jack Marshman did tip the scales a little heavy, a pound and a half over the limit. Three inch reach advantage lies with Strickland. Back inside the octagon, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 23 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 187 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Abertillery, South Wales, Jack the Hammer Marshman. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding professional record. 20 wins, three losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Corona, California, Sean Tarzan Strickland. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Keith Peterson. So Keith Peterson in the octagon. I've been told he accepts no nonsense. Sean Strickland, minus 380. He's a sizable favorite in this matchup. He'll be in the gray. Sir, are you ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight! Jack Marshman in the black out of Wales, plus 300 as the sizable underdog. And we're underway here at middleweight as Sean Strickland moves up to 185 pounds. He's competed at 170 for a while. Yeah, Megan was just saying on the break that Sean was saying if he performs in the cage like he does in the gym, he could be a world champion. And i got to say I agree with that. I've trained with Sean extensively. He's very, very technical. And we see him walking forward here. Um, usually, he's more on the back foot, more elusive. I think Jack Marshman has the power, but probably a more technical advantage goes to Sean. And Strickland has said in the past, sometimes his opponents, if he feels like he's better and more powerful, he won't give them the respect that they deserve. If somebody's standing in front of him, he says, now I just have to pay attention to every single thing. Believes he's been caught a few times because he kind of, uh, you know, probably got thinking elsewhere, you know, but he has laser focus each time in the octagon now. And I remember Sean saying to me once, he said, I'm, I'm dropping down to middleweight because middleweights are just too big for me. But when you look at him here, compared dropping to what to he looked, this is, Sorry, yeah, pardon me. Yes, sure. he said, I'm dropping to welterweight because middleweights are just too big. But when you see him here, six foot one, he's got a big frame. He looks like a good sized middleweight to me. I always thought the more you suffer, the better the results happen to be, and found not out that's just not the case. Not necessarily. You know, you kill yourself through training camp, you lose power, you lose speed, you know, and then, and then you feel the power diminish throughout training camp, and then that affects your confidence as well. And once the confidence goes, then it's game over. So Jack here. Jack has heavy, heavy hands, a lot of knockouts on his record, and he's not afraid to get into a brawl if he needs to. And that's probably his best bet. He needs to pressure Sean. He needs to go at him and try and turn it into like a bit, bit of a brawl, you know, and try and catch him with a wild hook or something, because standing at a, uh, the range like this, at a distance, and trying to have a technical points fight, I think that favors Sean. Some heavy hands there as they let go with the combination. Yeah, good right hand by Sean. The jack threw over the top. I'm not sure if he connected though from the angle I saw. Oh wow, nice counter right cross from Strickland. Heavy right hand, and then once again, that right hand is finding the hole. Jack's got to get that left hand up high. I mentioned it before we went to break. Sean Strickland was involved in a motorcycle accident. Got a second round stoppage of Nordin Taleb down at welterweight. That was in October of 2018. So here he is two years later to the week. And coming back at middleweight. The, the motorcycle accident wasn't life-threatening after the dust settled. It was a knee injury, required some surgery. Said he was unconscious for three hours, and doctors said, you know, your fight career might be in jeopardy here, but he's giving it a go, and he's looking good through the first three minutes in his return. Yeah, he said he actually left a piece of his kneecap on the road. <laughs> he's doing fine with what he's got yeah, left. I was gonna say, he seems to be, he walks better than me, that's for sure. 
keeping Marshman on the outside, checks that leg kick. Yeah, Jack's just out of range. He's throwing a lot of good stuff, but as I say, just out of range, he's not finding the target. And kind of, again, just out of range of that heavy attack from Marshman, dips and throws to the body. Now loosens up, strings something together. Yeah, body head connects with the right cross again. Yeah, he's looking really good. He's mixing in the body shots, then he's going up high. Nice work from Sean, looking really good. But Jack's tough, man. He can take this. I don't know how much he wants to take or how much he's smart to take, but he's been in brawls before. Taking three touchdowns worth of head strike so far. 21 to 6, the advantage of Strickland. On show, son. On show. Action. I'd like to see more head movement and some feints from Jack. Do you understand that reference? I do understand that reference. Don't ask me to elaborate on it, though. <laughs> okay, good. Especially not on TV, please. Gotcha. <laughs> I thought we were a team. We are a team. We're friends. Friends razz each other from time to time. Under 30 seconds to go in round number one. Strickland still really controlling the distance. The busier fighter. Oh! And the strikes. That was a heavy shot for Marshman on the that return. That was a heavy right hand. That got shown to tension. Yeah, trying to blink it out here. Yeah, you can see the expression on his face change immediately. Final second, so a big moment for Marshman as we head to round two. Marshman, I think you've done really well, eh? Is it a gap? Drink. Drink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Couple of right. Keep with that low kick as well, yeah? Have a bit more commitment on it. Beautiful work, Sean. He's ready to go, Sean. Stay in and out of my speed, Mr. Jones. Get on that chair. Get out there. Toast to the body there. Okay. Hey, head kicks there, Sean. Head kicks there. <laughs> UFC Fight Night is presented by the Sir, U.S. Army. Ready? Sir, are you ready? Fight! Underway for round number two. Sean Strickland controlling most of that first round. Probably got it on the judges' scorecards, you would say. But Marshman with a big strike toward the final seconds there. So we'll see what happens here as we're underway for round number two. Yeah, I think that's a clear 10-9 for Strickland there. And as we saw, he was on his feet halfway through the round, the, the minute break on his feet. So cardio, not an issue for him. He did eat that massive shot at the end of the round. That's going to give Jack a lot of confidence. He knows he can, can connect. You know, and, and that's what he's looking to do. I don't think he's looking to take it down or anything like that, but he's got to follow it up. He landed that big right, throw a left after it. Got to throw in combinations. <laughs> Strickland with another one, two, double jab, followed it up with the right cross again. Overall, you can't ask for a better first six minutes for Sean Strickland after two years away. No, absolutely. No ring rust on display whatsoever. Looking good. Looking like an improved striker as well. As I said, coming into this one, his main weapon is his jiu-jitsu. He's got high-level jiu-jitsu. Threw a head kick there. That's what his corner were calling for. Yeah, neither fighter has, read it, uh, has tried to dip levels and take this to the mat. Marshman's starting to wear the damage on his face after all the strikes are starting to mount from Strickland. Another one-two there. Jack's going to try and put Sean on the back foot. Right now, with Sean dominating and leading the dance, he's in control. We see Jack's pushing forward here. That's good. He's going to get Sean on the back foot, get Sean reacting. That's his best chance of catching him with a shot. Uh, cut below the right eye of Marshman. Starting to leak a little bit. Nice body shot. That's good. That's good work. Three minutes. Yep, 
He's got to follow that up, though. One shot to the body, you know, he connected nicely, but Sean Tucker didn't seem to be phased. But he's got to keep up, he's got to go again. UFC is now on Twitch. Follow to watch your favorite fighters break down past fights, preview upcoming events, and of course, game featuring Twitch streams from Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Angela Hill, and more. Are you much of a gamer, Brendan? I am not much of a gamer. Sir. You do surprise me. <laughs> I'm just razzing. We're razzing. We're razzing. Is it, am I saying it right? Apparently, I introduced you to a new term. I have never said the word razz in my life. Where yeah. I'm from, we call it something else. Yeah. <laughs> We're on TV. Well, exactly. <laughs> Stiff jab from Strickland as he keeps pumping it out there. I mean, I'll play games and lose them. But, uh, you know, I'm no expert. UFC 4, though. Man. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have played with Felder. I just kept losing. Under two minutes to go, round number two. Love you, Paul. Yeah, right now, Sean's oh, man. in control Another here. That jab's money. He's just pumping it away all night long. He's giving Jack a lot of problems. He's struggling to get in on the inside. And that was good work when he did that. Came with the right hand, then the left hook. Sean just glided out of the way. Just, just got enough out of danger. But Jack's got to go again. Now, easier said than done. He's the one that's eating the punches in the face. He's getting jabbed every time he tries to go in, but... That's what he's got to do. He's trying to do it. He knows what he's got to do. Yes, sir. But Sean, Sean's up to the side. Yeah, the yes, sir, there. I think he was acknowledging his coaching he has instructions a there. For a head. <laughs> you know, that's the beauty of no crowd. Right. You know, you really hear your coaches. And Strickland, if, if nothing else, he's outspoken. You know that. Oh, he's outspoken, all right. <laughs> I have another word for that as well, but, you know, again, we're on TV. <laughs> Marshman trying to swing his way back into things. Oh, that was a nice snapping jab, but then Jack fired right back with a good left hook. Yeah, Jack's going to really, in round three, if he gets there, you know, he's, he's just going to go for the kill. He's going to go for the knockout because he's cruising to a loss here. You see the total strikes round by round. Not as busy here in round number two. But firmly in control as we approach 10 minutes gone. And now it's Strickland walking down Marshman, keeping him on the outside. Not getting, getting overzealous though, chasing the finish. There's a big swing as he connects with the right. One more swing forward from Marshman. Third round coming up. Jabs. Sure. Right, don't bang with the drone, though, eh? <coughs> Call out every minute, Jake. I'll set. Go Go ahead, give him more. Jack, you know what I mean by these two phases now? Yeah, hey, I know. So you practice Wait, 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 on. You're very flat footed after the first phase he is. He stands dead still. He stands dead still, come on. Good boy, keep that up, mate. Come on. You keep that up, mate. Right, you certainly want to go start and catch him yeah, with the jab. Yeah, I know, he's right? right. You've got a lot more shots than he is. He's landing a bit more damage than you, a lot more shots. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein Sir, you ready? of UFC. Sir, you ready? Fight. Third and final round underway. Of no, Sean Strickland, he will not sit down between rounds. He barely even wants coaching. He's just kind of pacing and ready to get back to the action. Yeah, listen, you know, his cardio is through the roof. Doesn't feel tired. Sometimes you're happier on the feet, you know? The adrenaline's flowing. You don't want to sit down. You want to get right back to work. And that's what he's doing right here. But Jack Marshall's got to make a change. Sean is clearly up two rounds here. Jack's got to go for broke. He's got to get the finish to win this fight. And you can never count this man out. The guy has a giant heart. He's a natural fighter and he's got heavy, heavy hands. So this fight isn't over yet. And, and Sean's going to realize that and not get too complacent and not get cocky. Well, and Strickland said it in round number two. marshall has got a brick for a chin. Able to take a lot of punishment here and still swing back. It looks pretty fresh here in the first minute around. round. Why don't you put this in there, Jack? 
Oh. What did he say there? <laughs> I don't know, something about be meeting in the center before he yeah, put boy. together a combination. Here we go, the talking, but Sean's talking anyway. Much to his style, he, he never shuts up. Yeah, he's bringing Marshman right into the brawl here. Oh, look at that. I should also mention Strickland, a long time, you know, native of California, of course, and he's done a lot of training there, but Syndicate Mixed Martial Arts, which is right up the street here in Las Vegas, is where he's gotten some coaching, and John Wood, the head coach and owner there, in his corner here tonight, certainly working out for him after a long layoff. You know, if Sean's challenging him to stand in the center of the octagon and trade, I can't help but think that he's trying to set him up for a takedown. Come on, Jack, we're fighting for the center. Wait for it. It would have surprised me anyway. Throwing Sean the way you do. He's a little bit of a monkey. Don't make me chase you, Jack. Let's fight for the same fucking run. Oh! I didn't fucking run out! Some good shots. Yeah, it's, it's becoming a fight now. Come on, Sean's wing connects for Strickland. Come on, bro, we're both landing the biggest shots. Jack's going to do the odd job here, but it's actually Sean with the right hands. Jack's going to let go with the hooks. Use the jab to set them up, but then you're going to go. Let the jab go, then right hook, left hook. Usually not the first punch you throw, it's the second, third, or fourth that will do the big damage. Strickland sits out of range and then attacks oh, you some third one too. <laughs> oh, big swing and another connection. Yeah, Sean's growing in confidence yes, here. He knows he's outboxing him. He has the reach and he probably has like the speed. Me. He's growing in confidence, but as I said, be careful. Hey, you, know, you can't. Bro, you just can't fall. Look at Why this. don't you fall? <laughs> <laughs> We want to hear all the trash talk here, so if they start yapping again, we'll shut up. Yes. I hit Nordeen with half of what I hit you with. Let's go some speed changes, Sean. Some speed changes. I just can't bro. Ah. Two minutes. Two minutes, Sean. Good job, Lois. Good job, Lois. Why won't you fall? That was my favorite one so far. You know why? Because he's from Wales. Okay, he's from Great Britain. They don't fall like that, Brendan. Oh, oh ho, ho, he nearly did there, though. Cross. Yeah, Sean's looking really good here. Yeah, we're not making a performance if you keep fucking not going down. Sean's trying to get a bonus here. He's like, you're not going down, I'm not going to get a bonus. We showed you the striking numbers and the efficiency of Sean Strickland. Don't kick, Jack. Head strike. I knew you seen it coming. Oh, man, goes up with a kick. Fall down, Jack. There's a good body shot. Yeah, the corner of Jack Marsh is saying you got one minute. You got one minute to get the knockout. Because I think everybody knows if this goes to a decision, clearly Sean Strickland all three rounds. He's trying now. He's trying. Connected for Marshman. That's what he should have been doing the whole fight. Putting together two, three, four punches. It was Sean Strickland. Seconds, fuck it, Jack. Let's go. I'll give you a chance to win. Just go hard. I told you. He is definitely not short of confidence. I was going to say, he's in the middleweight division now. So too is Kevin Holland. You put those two in a crowdless environment. Come on, Jack. Come on, Jack. I think Strickland wants to fight. Ten seconds, Jack. Five seconds, Jack. Sean Strickland just went three full rounds after two years off in a motorcycle accident. Set a personal best for total strikes. What a performance for Tarzan. Who figures to get his victory next?
Check out the UFC series Destined on ESPN Plus. Part one is available now. It focuses on both Uriah Hall and Anderson Silva's lives as they prepare for this historic fight tonight. Part two drops Friday. It includes unprecedented po post fight access. Watch UFC Destined Hall versus Silva exclusively on ESPN Plus. Let's make this one official. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Sean Tarzan Strickland. As you would expect, a clean sweep of the judges' scorecards for Sean Strickland, who improves to 21 and 3. And looking pretty good as a middleweight after two years off. Good to have Tarzan back in the octagon. Perhaps tonight is the last.